Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Thursday, September 26, 2024. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day and glad you're tuning with us for your TF headlines. Hope you got outside today because it is beautiful out there. Enjoying that nice weather. Looks like it's going to cool off next week, so take advantage while you can and enjoy this nice uh, sun seasonable like, I guess you would say. No, nevertheless, good stuff. All right, uh, we continue talking about the referendum. Uh, more informational sessions are coming up. Reminder, you can check our website for those informational sessions at fitchburgwi.gov. Our next uh, sessions uh, are as followed. Uh, we have a, another session coming up on September 30th at 6 p.m. This will be uh, hosted at the City on the Hill Church, 2924 Fish Hatchery Road. October 9th, we'll be going virtual at 12 p.m. October 17th at 6 p.m., we're back on the road at fire station number 3, 2950 South Sion Road. October 21st at 6 p.m., we'll be at Four Winds Farms, 5735 Adams Road. And on October 28th at 6 p.m., we'll finish off with a virtual meeting there. You should have received a mailers uh, or will be receiving a mailer in your uh, mailbox here uh, sometime today or tomorrow. And that more information, again, is available at our website at fitchwardwi.gov, including the sessions. We've taped both of them so far. We'll tape the one coming up on Monday as well and rebroadcast that for you. If you've got any questions, you can reach out to our city administrator, Chad Brecklin. He'll be happy to answer those questions. Metro is going to be back in town uh, for a fast fare card information session at the Fitchburg Public Library. Stay updated on BRT, that's Bus Rapid Transit, and the fast fare cards. Metro's bilingual outreach specialist will be on hand at the Fitchburg Library on Friday, September 27th from 12 to 3 p.m. to help set up uh, accounts and distribute fast fare cards uh, at the event. Riders uh, can pick up their fast fare cards uh, in for assistance uh, at, and get uh, set up along with uh, again asking any questions and I said next week this is tomorrow so you can check that out tomorrow here at the Fitchburg Public Library. Dane County Fire Truck Parade and Display is coming up. Get this on your calendar. It's on my calendar. Join us on Sunday, October 6th for our annual Fire Truck Parade and Display. The parade will begin at 1 p.m. at State Street in Madison. The trucks will be displayed around the Capitol Square from 1.30 to 3 p.m. This parade signifies the beginning of National Fire Prevention Week. Numerous Dane County Fire Departments will be hosting fire prevention activities throughout the week of uh, October 6th through the 12th. You can check out more on the uh, community, uh, uh, check out more uh, throughout uh, uh, Dane County, but this is uh, put on by the Dane County Fire Chiefs uh, group, uh, this fire truck parade. Uh, so again, kicking off a lot of things. We'll be having a special next week right here on Fact TV with Fire Prevention Week uh, that uh, week as well. So I hope you'll tune in for that. Fall hydrant flushing continues across the city of Fitchburg. Fitchburg Utilities fall hydrant flushing began last week and continues now through the end of October. Flushing will occur Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Due to flushing, the water may temporarily be discolored. Discoloration can be cleared by opening your cold water tap to full flow for a few minutes. Please do your laundry in the evening when the water is clear to avoid damage to clothing. Whooping cough is on the rise across Wisconsin and the U.S., a reminder that uh, cases of pertussis, better known as whooping cough, are on the rise in Wisconsin and across the country. Whooping cough began, begins with a cold-like symptom that develops into a serious cough that can uh, last for several months. It may include a high-pitched whoop after the cough. That's the sound you're listening for. It's a serious illness that needs to be treated right away. Fortunately, there is a vaccine that can prevent and or reduce the symptoms that uh, some whooping cough uh, uh, reduce some of the symptoms and there are whooping cough vaccines for children and adults. You can learn more about whooping cough and the ways to prevent that at Department of Health Services website. That's dhs.wisconsin.gov backslash immunization backslash pertussis. We will share this link up as we do all of our links so you can check that out and learn more. Free at-home COVID tests are back now. You can get a free test uh, at home. Uh, the post office is again delivering free uh, COVID tests for families this fall. Each order includes four tests that uh, are shipped directly to your mailbox. You can visit covidtests.gov to place your order. Of course, you want to continue to test if you have any symptoms of COVID and get those free uh, tests there uh, from the post office once again this year. And stay up to date by checking the Public Health of Madison Dane County's website, Department of Health Services website. They put out reports on upper respiratory issues all winter long. Have a great day, everybody.